Welcome to the house of uh, Sankofa. Uh, today, we have a prolific uh, gentleman who's been at it, and as he walked in, I said, hey, um, Amand Laseko, Aseko, and he said, no, Aseko. <laughs> uh, we welcome to house of Sankofa, saxophonist. Uh, he's a composer, he's a producer, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. McCoy Mkobata. Mkuno, welcome to the house of Sangoff. I finally made it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm, yeah, yeah. Um, mm. I was just talking about just the time frame that you've been at it in as yeah. far as your music is concerned. Mm. And then the research, I'm looking at around 75 or so where things started moving, or I could be wrong? Uh, 76, yeah. 76. 76, yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, 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 yeah. Although at 19, 1973, the second standard uh, uh, the three, yeah, um, there was a machine band that was formed, a school in, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, at Temba, the lower primary school. This is Cape yeah, Town. Cape Town, Town. yeah, Kuala. Kuala, exactly, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Um, when they announced that, I was so excited, you know. I wanted to grab hold of a bugle. Um, then Sapumi school, after school, we rushed into the music room, you know. It was so chaotic, and the uh, bigger guys bulldoze. They get all the nice instruments. I was left with a triangle. Yeah, come on, like, like instrument, king, 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 king. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so in 1973, I was stuck with the triangle whenever there were, you know, music performances in marching band and majorettes, you know, king, yes. king, king. I was so bored. But I told myself, 1974, I'm going to get the bugle because back in that day, uh, I really loved the sound, the air trumpet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because, um, you know, that was the music I had, you know, search more, you know, one of my, all my uncles had their own records, but the big uncle had, you know, love for search more. So that sound resonated with me, you know, more than a saxophone. Because it was something you were listening to. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And bugle was closer to a trumpet. So came 1974, I was ready, you know, to bulldoze the human bugle. bugle. Yeah, yeah. And I did, you know. I was so good at it so, so much that I was uh, played second part. You, you know, uh, the guy was really phenomenal. You know, you know, Mbombi. I still remember his name. In, in the 1980s, when I was uh, semi-professional, I even wanted to recruit him. Who was not interested, but he had a talent. You know, so I'll play, play second second part. You know, yeah. So yeah, the, the music bug. You know, got me then. You know. But then it kind of faded again in 1975 because back in that day, our community centers had, there was a lot of activity. There was boxing, Yes, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> to the point that I nearly turned pro in 1979. Wow. Yeah, yeah, I was, an, you know, I was an amateur boxer for wow. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there were a lot of things, you know, that, that, that music thing kind of fizzled off, you know, you, you know. Yeah, yeah, and also I can also draw. Yeah, you know, I used to sketching and all that, you know. And uh, so it faded until 1976 during the uprising mm -hmm. times, you know. You know, I mean, the activities that were there, our, our, we, we protected our community center, you know, like, uh, recreation center, because they were, my comrades used to ban everything, but we protected it, you know. Just to make yeah. sure they yeah. touch it. Because uh, by it was touch. important. Mm -hmm. yes. Luckily, you know, it never got burned down. Mm -hmm. So, um, so our activities were there, and and the political rallies, you know, sito ito, this and that. No schooling at all. So, a body of man is tiro muyakezi. Now we had time to really do our sketching, you know. I had a bigger room, a kaya. So I draw all the you know, you know. I should draw anything from landscape to abstract, anything, you know. And then during uh, breaks, Ustiro had a penny whistle. He'll just blow, you know, in, you know, between breaks, you know. I didn't take note of it, you know. And then one day, he left it behind, you know. Why is she a mistake, you know? Um, after our sessions, they to Zozo Trova, you know, yeah, go to So I picked it up, to, hey, you know. I blow when I pull him so bam. That the chin, wow, this is nice. Yeah, blow it. Oof. <laughs> and also, uh, something strange. Lomoya wam, and it is so tiny. 
it gets warm very quickly. It was massaging my fingers. I was like, this is nice. So when it came back for our drawing session the following day, yes. the ST phoned in, this is nice, man. But when I play it, it doesn't sound like when you do, you know, how do you do it, you know, because you're bim bam now, you know. And you know, it's easy, Mac. Just close the holes properly. So my friend, like they say, the rest it's is history. history. And then so my- you, my you, you discovered a sensation that you had never felt on the bugle horn. Yes, yeah, 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 quick penny whistle. With the penny whistle. Yes, Mr. Wow. Uh, you know, yes. the sound, you know. And share my artwork and sketching took a nose dive. I was hooked here, you know. Was hooked. That penny was yeah, out. yeah. And I thought yeah, but yeah, yeah. Still, ah, my call look for the man, come man, you know. You. And um, I would mimic every song I heard on the on the radio. Oh, by this time, Bendi Kwal, Bendi Seku Gulet, because Kwalanga uh, was at my grandpa's, uh, my grandparents' place, Kwalanga. So my 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 my, my, my mom. Got, got a place in 1975, and then uh, I joined later in 75, you know, mm -hmm. so yeah, it, it cooks. So, um, yeah, you know, and she, as a domestic worker, she, weekends, she sold booze, you know. Mm -hmm. She had records of the world, her own selection. I would play everything, you know, kind of even uh, entertaining, you know, the patrons, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, my mom so good to no, this is special. She saved enough money to get me a side fruit because she would overhear me. Say, I wish I could get lake up with Robert. There was Robert's mm -hmm. He started with penny whistle and then flute. flute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then at Zak Tengelam Danam, yeah. And then she did in 1978. And um, man, yeah, it so took. So you made that transition from penny whistle now to flute? Yes, and yes. And initially, how did you find the flute once you were introduced to it, you know? A uh, similar effect with the penny whistle, you know, because it's, it's yeah, you know, as long as, uh, uh, although it's bigger, you know, mm. yeah, more intricate, you know. So I really needed a uh, uh, guidance from Babu Robert Sitole, you know. Yeah. I'd already been following him while playing a penny whistle, you know. And also I remember there was still no, no schooling, you know. It's called as a Chile, you know. So what I did, uh, me and my, my friends were worried about education. We enrolled uh, at St. Francis, a night school, you yes. know. Uh, you'll find out, you'll find that, uh, e -e 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 let's say it's the u -u 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 form one, you know. I don't know what's great, what. Yeah. Form one, standard six, no? yeah, yeah, mm, yeah. Yeah, something like that. You'd find mm, that, um, you're doing it over two years, you know, because it's limited time in the afternoons, you know. But that's, you know. That's the best you could do at yeah, that time. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 you know. Yes. So, see, I found up, you know, there's still a struggle. Yeah, it, it was hard times, you know. Mm -hmm. And then my mom buys me this flute in 1978. And then within uh, six months, I heard about the, the audition that was held at a colored area, a club, great club called, called um, Club Club Montreal, yeah. Okay. yeah, 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 yeah. No, before then it was called uh, Sherwood. Yeah, before it became Montreal. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then now that now Lasania, what can you play? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was ready, Mr. Bam. You're ready. I was ready. Oh yeah, all of those yeah. records playing for the. Yeah, ones, yeah, um, yeah. You were ready. I guess. Yeah, 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 yeah. I couldn't read music at the time. I had uh, four or five LPs. The top two, I can three I can remember. He LP got heavy man. They got Hubert Laws. They got Bobby Humphrey. He called singer my mom. The better so the flute yam yabon. And then they also couldn't read music, you know. We song the one anything. I was so confident, you know. Yeah, by the way, boom, 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 boom. They, pra they practice the event. They, they could, you know, people who, people who don't read music, ooh, you know, they rehearse it quickly and then go for it, you know, poof, you know, melody to solo. Wow, do you like the, the Spielman? Let's try another one. Which other, oh, oh, ELP, the one, the one, you know? Again, I said, anything, say, so. yeah, 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 anything, you know. You're on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because they started with heavy men, 
two two items from happy man you know so yeah and then they were scared of you but lost because it was intricate you know you know but they practice it a anyway you know quick practice and then on stage boom and i got the gig 1978, 18 year old. Yeah. And each of the songs, you, you've got solos there. Yes, yes, yeah. Melody solos, yeah, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. And the gig was yours? The gig was mine, you know. Uh, yeah, I stayed with that band for, uh, I would have stayed longer, but uh, until I jumped ship to, uh, you know, join Itach, uh, 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 that was fever, yeah, yeah. Because, um, it was a legendary band, you know, Oprah Winston, Ezra Nukano, all my, my mentors were in that band, you know. It was like, yeah. It's a and band. obviously having grown up <coughs> in Gualaanga mm. and Gooks, yes. you were familiar yes, with yes. Ramachrotman. Exactly, exactly. Tell, I used to follow them around, yeah. Tell us more about uh, Oprah Winston Mangungu Ngos and just the influence he's had in as far as South African jazz is concerned. Oh man, uh, giant of giants, Oprah Winston. I was privileged uh, to be uh, to live in the same neighborhood as Yena. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Quite long there were other greats, you know. Same thing when I moved to Gooks. Oprah Winston's house, is, you know, stone throw away from my house, and Bra Ezra's uh, family place. Same thing. Right. Yeah, but Oprah Winston, um, I would. I would, oh man, you were strange, man. Mm. Asking for lessons. I said, Cookie, man, I can't teach, man. I can't, man. <laughs> I mean, now I'm in this Fundele land. Just look at me. Just watch me. Just listen, you know. Yeah. Use your, 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 I think I had, the first time I had the inner ear, I had from him. So use your inner ear, yeah, yeah, you, you know. To, to, but, uh, and then uh, kind of sort of uh, a little bit, uh, uh, you know. But then he didn't mind me, you know, at his house, uh, watching, you know, practicing, Practice. you know. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. you would sit and absorb. Yeah, exactly, exactly, yeah. Yes. But then there's this thing with horn players. Yeah, they would they press it against the wall, you know. They're facing the walls so that that sound resonates back, you know. Yeah, it bounces off it the bounces, wall. Yes, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'll kind of, you know, and, and just sit there, you know. And then between noises, <gasps> so like, oh, that out deep, man, you know. And um, he, he was beautiful, and he really taught me to listen and listen without prejudice, as, as Michael, uh, George Michael says, without prejudice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I would listen. On the other hand, the other great Ezra Ngokane, at least here in Nobu Robert, will show me stuff and tell me about modes, this and that. Mm. And I tell you what, I didn't understand. It just went here, poop. Yeah. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. But then, through practice and listening, what Brian Winston told me, um, only about 10 years later, I got to understand what they were giving me. Mm. Especially Brian Winston you know, and Ezra, you, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There'll come a time when um, we're on tour. I'm busy now with Louis and the Jive, you, you know. This was after uh, Fever. The after Fever, yes, yes, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know. um, we are on tour. And then my roommate, because we used to share, you, you know, hotels, he'll say to me, Meg, you're not practicing, because I, I used to practice all the time. Sometimes I'll just sit. As, uh, and I'll tell him, no, I'm practicing, you know. Mm. And then he, he, we're playing, he, you know, I'm watching TV, but my mind is not there. I'm practicing, you, you, you know. I'm absorbing, absorbing what we were doing last night in, in, in correcting my mistake, you know, mentally. So you're deep in thought, you're almost in meditation. You got it, yeah. And mm. hence you say mm. you are practicing. Yes. Because mm. now you are recalling the show, the previous yeah. night, yeah. and you are anticipating yes, yeah. mm, uh, mm. the following show that yeah. will, uh, you know, uh, come before you. Yes, wow. yes, <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And yes. doesn't even, eh? mm. Yeah. <laughs> Practicing while quiet. Yes, the yes, meditation. yes, 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 yeah. But, mm, 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 mm. Yeah. Yeah. No, sir, you, you, I suppose you, Mr. Bam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. In meditation. Mm. And so, I think the lessons you were getting from Oprah Winston Mangungungos and Oprah Ezra. These are lessons you'll never get, say, at a music school. Never. 
not in a million, million years, you know. Mm. You know, even Mazuz, the time he says, it's is in no way, Ilapayana. We're just chatting. And other catsmen, Londa Gogwana, and who else? And they will say, because me, mm, a, a, as a leader, mm. I love, I love coffee. Mm. I love food. There must be food. It's, uh, I think we eat and chat more than we rehearse, you, rehearse. I, 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 you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, they'll go like, Hey, Pramek, this is a master class. Why didn't the UCT you know, professor call you? You know, I said, I don't know. And uh, guess what? I will even forget what I even said that took them to another dimension and a level of thinking. You know, this is deep. We should, yeah, you, you don't. You don't. Mm. Hmm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I guess. I guess it's that musical ear that uh, throughout the years you managed uh, you know, to, to just garner up and those quiet lessons you were having mm -hmm. you know, with the great ones as you were reiterating the stories. And then, Nsegazi, when does the transition now happen? Yeah, before getting there, just one more note about Oprah Winston. Yes. Oprah Winston in 1985, he was losing one of his lungs. And the doctor said, you better stop playing music, you know, mm -hmm. for a year or two. This was 85. Yeah, yeah, I think 85, yes. Yes. Yeah, this is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Take a long, long break. And it be chaya, you know, and pressures, you know, I of see. the industry, yes. you know. Um, he called me, the day I'm done, Tati Hon, yeah. It's a and he need a bag. Yes. I couldn't believe it. I played on Pravinstein's horn for almost two years. Yeah, mm, I keep it selfish. I was like, I was very protective, you know. Oh, yeah, we over, over, you know, it's a legend. Yeah, you know. And then I was so happy when it was well enough, you know. Why for he said even better than it was, you know. I made yeah. sure, I made sure, you, you know. Take care of that yeah, home. it was amazing. Very few people would get the opportunity yeah. to be given a horn by a great like uh, Winston. Hmm. Whenever you played it, can you still recall, did it give you a certain quality, be it a spiritual quality, that may have resonated from Oprah Winston because of the fact that you are handling yeah. mm. his piece? Yeah, 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 yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so, you know, although at the time I thought I was imagining things and also um, I, I'm, I'm just, I don't, I don't know, man, you know, it, it gave me a sense of, yeah, uh, you, you know, I was more, what I felt, you know, I, I can explain, yeah. I felt more confident, you know. If I since the 60s, um, uh, you know, yeah, you, you know. And I practice more on that home than I did with mine, you know. Then, you, you, you know, yeah, yeah. And another thing, uh, uh, in my neighborhood, when I, before I go talk, talk about Josie, yes. let me add a little part about uh, switching from flute to saxophone. Oh, yes. yes. So, yeah, 1978, remember my mom bought me a horn. Within six months, I was a professional musician, you know, 18 year old. Still studying in Gifunda, you know, and on Lama all that. School. Yeah, exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. And then until I found the correspondence school, Yabona, Money Dipala, you know. So now they tell me, Lassine Makoi, your fruit is nice, but listen, yeah. <laughs> it's kind of disappearing, man, you know. It's yeah. <laughs> you know, because why? Because it, the, our repertoire was. Uh, um, American music that comp from the Jazz Crusaders, mm -hmm. um, Bob James, you know, David Sanborn, the Commodores, you know, Ethan and Fire, da -ba -da 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 -da, you know, musical loud. So, so you would infuse that funk, that fusion, yes, so yes, to speak, yeah, some soul as well. Exactly, yes. exactly, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, uh, the whispers, well. anything, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So. And they were right. I, I knew anyway. At some point, I have to, I have to get a bigger horn. So in 1980, I, 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 I bought my first horn. It, yeah, you know, mm. it was mediocre in terms of uh, quality. You know, it was not a Selma. You know, hence later in '85, I was enjoying Prague Winston's horn. It was a Selma. 
yeah, oh, yeah. Mercedes Benz, you, oh, you know, yeah. Of, yeah, 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 yeah. So um, I, I bought my, my first horn in 1980. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then uh, jumping back uh, into introducing introduction to Joe's in you know transitioning, you know. Yes. Uh, it happened when I performed. I was with now a, what they call then a crossover band, Louis R and the Jive. It was it was a kind of uh, uh, there were a lot of those bands emerging at the time, you, you know, because of Johnny Clegg, you know, and Savuka, you, you know, Juluka, you know, uh, a racist meeting, and you, you know, Lou and the Jive was you know did such, and there was uh, a Void. There were so many groups like that, you yes. know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we were quite, quite successful touring Johannesburg, you know, and then one time we were performing at. Um, one of the venues, a, a, a dome type of uh, Good Hope Center, yes, it was co it's called. Um, and uh, along Brahot Sticks and other bands, the Rockets, you know. And then after that concert, our manager got a call, uh, he said he got a call from Hot Sticks saying, hey, you want that young horn player that played with Lou and the Jive, you know, he told me. And then, and then I said, that's nice, but I'm leaving your band now at Mac. It doesn't matter. Cool. This is a bigger break. At the I, time I said was thank you. Yeah. Sticks with Harari or a different band? Yeah, younger Harari. Oh, you, yes, you know, establishing. Yeah, establish. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just after Shikisha, you know, but Abu Babu Alec, they were not there. You know, oh. there was younger generation with uh, Zandi Kenton on bass guitar, uh, Richard Sisobel on keyboards, okay. Silomon Twedi on drums. Okay. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Was and after rich, that yeah. Yes, okay. yes, yes, yeah. Okay. So I came to join his band in 1987. Yeah, yeah. I never, you know, you since then, I never looked back, and I'm here ever since. And the my late mom wouldn't, you know, hate it when I joked, you know, let's say I'm visiting geek or, or whatever, mm. you know. And then I'll go like, hey, the kumble kaya ngok, you know, meaning Joe Beck, you know, because I have kids. And what do you mean, kaya <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, Brown Sticks was very instrumental, really, into possibly getting you out there. In yes. As far as people hearing you and your own self development, I think. For as sure, a, for sure. As an artist, as a saxophonist as well. Very you know, instrumental in getting me, you know. and. And I was slowly saving money to go to Johannesburg anyway, mm. because uh, Cape Town, to be honest, was starting to frustrate me. Because I'm one of those artists oh, of Ghanaian ideas every time. I want to play original music. At the time, they were still into playing too much cover versions. I was yeah. getting tired of that, you know. And then during my visit with Lou and the Jive, you know, Josie, I noticed that, man, up there, they embraced uh, original music. Um, um, and then in Cape Town, the West Nobish said, ah, but the Lama two chords, La Payana, you know, I didn't care. Oksalayo mm. is their music. And then, you know, it will, in time, it will develop in not just in two chords and repetitive melodies. It doesn't matter. Right. I want, yeah, because I, I had ideas that I wanted to, to, to share with the bands, you know. Even the guys was growing up with, they were inclined into doing jazz standards. So right now with jazz standards, I still play them, you know, because they are development. But at some point, you need to get out, you know, spit out what what you have. Otherwise, you'll implode. Yeah. Indeed. Mm, yeah. Now, when does the first album come along? I mean, I was just asking you, off the camera, by <coughs> solo projects. Mm. How many now? You said something like uh, fifteen 50, or sixteen. Uh, fifteen. Yeah. 15. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. That defining moment, uh, you know, was Jelba. I an album needs to come out now. Mekoi Mkhubat. <laughs> yeah. Do you remember that? I I remember that. I remember that. Uh, the weird thing about it, I thought it was going to be around um, the nineties, you know, because it was. Although one is gathering these thoughts, writing down these melodies, singing these melodies, yeah, yeah. Instead, it came in 1988, oh. whilst I was uh, working with PJ Powers. So what happened? After joining Ubabu Hasiks in 87, the following year I joined PJ Powers. Yes. 
and then the following year is Timela, you know. And the just fraternity lie at Josie were unhappy with me. Wow. Because they wanted my services, you know. They had heard of this my call because I was I was a name in Cape Town, you know, and they had heading, you know, they wanted my services. Ibayete net teta bonga bebe nfuna yabon. The you next thing, demand, yeah. Yeah, yes, already, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> South Africa is a small country, because, yeah, because, yeah, yeah oh, oh, yeah, yeah. So instead, I'm joining these pop bands. So um, that record deal, a recording deal, came in 1988 through Ukolo Ilibona. She had me when I was playing with Lou and the Jive, and the contact, you know, spoke to me after, you know, I was set. Said she lo he loved my tone. Mm. Loved my sound, like to um, give me a recording uh, deal. Under Zomba Records. Under Zomba Records, yeah. Which is uh, an international international yes. record company. Re record company. Yes. Yeah, yeah, at the time they had Jonathan Butler, no Billy Ocean, I think no Sting later, yeah. Mm. Wow. Yeah, 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 man. It was a big deal. And I'm like, our, I mean, in, inside me, I said, I'm not ready. And, and I told him, uh, Prakar, hey, songs wise, I don't think I have strong songs yet. Uh, of course, no, it's sorted. Yet, um, people in mind to write music for me. Yes. Yeah. The late Chabungosi, mm -hmm. prolific, prolific uh, a pianist and songwriter, mm -hmm. uh, you know. And my brother, Paul Helmer, that's how I met Paul. Oh. Paul Henma, yeah, yes. yeah. They wrote all the material in 1988, album called Firebird. It was recorded later that year and, and released in 1989. Firebird. Firebird, yeah. Do you remember, you know, one of the top tracks from it? Maybe that you could give us an ear to? I don't know. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Please, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 I uh, tell you, I tell you, I tell you. And Firebird was a composition of uh, the late Prajabun Yeah. I see. I think it went like, I haven't played it in this in decades. Yeah. <laughs> I don't remember the second part of the bridge, it goes and goes and goes. Yeah. Right, but I mean, you were saying mm. there was just so much demand up to a point where <coughs> even a great like Oprah, you must see there. Yep. Came knocking yep. to say, hey, Fondin, yep. uh, let's tour a little bit. That's right, that's Get right. Get out yeah. of uh, you know, the borders of this country. That's right. Um, that interaction, Shagaz, how did it come about? And I think again, then it opened up a new chapter for you. True, 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 true. Experience true. Yes. and get, you know, connected, uh, you know, to other musicians or forms of music as well. For sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, Brahu's one is another interesting one because at this time, at that point now, you saw me performing with my own band when we were promoting um, Firebird. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess who was in my band? Jimmy Lulu. Jimmy Lulu? Yes. The, the late and Santa Magagula, Mwezi Zazi, Chipa Mashoko, and Pax Kangat, you know, it, wow. it, it was a great band. Yeah, because Prakar's idea was that um, after the, 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 the producer who produced me and a talent scout, after the, the cutting of the album, he said, uh, now you need to promote it, you know, you need to form a band. I was like, yeah, the guys are ready, you know. Mm. I was thinking of my contemporaries at the time, Bakiti Kumalo, or Vita Masondo, or Lawrence Machiza, you know. 
akuli ya yes ya ya him or ya him you know ya ya yes yes ya you know but i couldn't finish the sentence was about mentioning lulu or or what's his name um fusikumale so you you it was you know shaking his you know you know is it why prakar that no i want younger guys than you you know you know said oh hey that's a tough one prakar yes i only know jimmy you know in fact two jimmys jimmy mgwandi and jimmy lulu i don't know any other young guys get them to you know to organize even younger guys you know so i went to jimmy lulu his flat said hey i'm forming, forming this band to promote yeah. my album you know about it yeah 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 pramak mm. yeah upra upra kar is ideas that i get younger cast do you know any young cast yeah sure and then he brought all these cast i, I just mentioned to jimmy yes. will practice at my, my house and you know now bra you and we even won a competition sa beta ababantu babend funa itetha no no it was not in the competition bayete bayete the game you know the competition he started in johannesburg it was done regionally you know in cape town you know and then all the band bands that won they came to johannesburg you know for the final for the final it killed his music for africa my coy's brother would yaba yaz better song ke fonden so better na tete the strong bayete i keep on saying tete the strong bayete that head the great babutamba mkhize u jabukhanyile say better la tete mfondin wow yeah the way we so we were so tight yes yeah 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 and um the guys would be coming out against said no 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 gents don't these guys are far better than us it's just that we were more organized yeah because what i did musically they were limited yabon during competitions you are given 10 minutes to do your thing mm. i rehearsed them you know that on the songs that they were really um good at you know mm. yeah because we had the whole repertoire you know i rehearsed them and also i told them that when you're on stage tune your guitars out there mongena la pena as plug and be ready for it, you know i don't want ping 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 prang prang and yes. all that Plug you know and yes exactly yes, that's it yeah and also the <clears throat> beginning of the song and the last must be so impressive you know if they just say come and then then i count them in two three four. Yeah. 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 yeah and the ending must be fade out a beautiful ending you know and so then, when the strategy exactly yeah Jay, impactful beginning impactful ending there and you go not 10 minutes not 10 minutes yes. and out of that 10 minutes uh so we secret you know medley there yeah, three songs yeah bon yes. sometimes when we really had it since even four quick finals to show them could hear with our story you know 25000 rand you know which was a lot of money in, in 19 yeah. 1990 yeah and they're recording deal in the ccp you know yes ccp record yeah yes 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 yes, 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 yes. And I, i think it was under emi yes they they, yes. they, they there you go mm. and then um we got the money i went there for uh, interview for a recording deal you know and i uh, was in charge there was uh, Oprah peter sadi you know mm. and then you want to he wanted to change our style said mac uh, you guys are jazz you know but get to see zozako because she was doing well at the time with rebecca and other artists yeah we know him yeah. as yeah. a prolific gospel producer there you go yeah yes. exactly but you know but we are a fusion jazz band african jazz no 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 but you know what's selling now is that you know or do san komota type of thing i said prapita no you know no 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 we want what we played you know we'll produce ourselves no no mchanami doesn't work like that <laughs> yeah yeah and it was like that you know <laughs> and uh we left the you know we just you know ran with the money and I, i left it you know i said no I t- the gents agreed with me I said yeah. no yeah 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 so bra you yeah i keep on yeah yeah so uh, so me perform with those guests towards you know after two years that i've been leading this band you know 
and then he asked me to join you know his band you know in 1992 yeah and then we toured the whole year you know Along with Moses Mulelekwa, you know. Oh, by the way, at some point, Moses Mulelekwa was part of the Brotherhood, my, my band. Oh. He was in my band at some point, too, you, you know. Yeah. Possibly the, the youngest fellow? He was the youngest, yeah, yeah, yeah. Time, yeah. yeah, because how I, I saw him, you know, um, um, the Brotherhood, it got a little rehearsal, you know. It's too late to go home. I thought I'll, I'll stick around, you, you know. And then as the extra three in Zolale Moto and Yam, you know, I f I phone um Fazwam Kitiki box, yeah, hey man, the tired the tin the tin was water. Yeah, yeah. The rehearsal took too long, you know. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And I'm about to go to my car, I'm hearing you know, piano chokam na and the end kupuka palape fuba, it was a fuba. Fuba Fuba, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, ooh, this is Guy is good and he's young, man. He's practicing, man, you know. He's playing, man. He's playing, man, you know. And Shemi failed to put it. No, 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 you know, after five minutes or so, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. But we have seen. We have seen, yeah. Yes. Let us sort of carry on, you know. But no, no, I was going to take a break anyway. Yeah, I introduced myself, introduced myself, you know, um, you know, from Tembisa. And then I invited to, to our gig, you know. I said, no, but I have to travel home, you know. Um, Namanji, I'm late. Mm -hmm. I said, if you can, you can talk to your parents in Zola, say, Fletinium, you know. And um, that's how I met him. And he stayed with us, you know, uh, sometimes, you know. Zola and myself had a flat in Dorenfontein, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. When he was a kind of established, he even got a, a, a flat in, in, you know. Flat in in in, in, the, in, the, in the, that you know, mm. yeah, mm. where we were, you know. Mm. And then with Brahu <coughs> in Kolua, when you say you toured, did you tour locally, or you were now going outside uh, into London, into the states, and things like that, while you were the part and parcel of uh, Brahu Masikana's band? Yeah, mostly the states. The mostly states. the states. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We get to, we did go to Botswana, I think Zim. And South Africa, of course, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, uh, yeah, you know, mm. it was great times, man. Fun working with Brahu, you know, Brahu, oof, oof, man. And that man, yeah, was a health freak, man, you know. You, irrespective of uh, when he got up, Brahu, you know, did his walks, you know. Yeah, he, he never jogged, but he turned to walk, you know. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I remember one time in Sacramento, um, it was hot. Uh, going to a swimming pool, Olympic sized type of pool, you know. Yes. Yeah, I said, you know. But I couldn't finish a lap, you know, the yeah, rest. Upra, you best jump, jump, He did a couple of laps, you know. He was a good swimmer. He's going, yeah. Yeah, yeah I forgot how many, maybe four, you know, big pool. That's how fit, fit he was, you know. Indeed. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And it's ironic uh, that uh, here you are, you land up with Brahu, who plays the bugle. Oh. You see, you see, yeah, yeah. It's and, a, and, and, and you take a look back, yeah. you mm. know, to when you fell in love, mm. Uh, mm. you know, with a wind instrument. That's right. And it was first a bugle horn. Yes, yes, yeah. yeah. So fate, as fate would have it, you, you know, at some point, it pairs you up with this giant. This, ooh, man, ooh, man, yeah, <laughs> Who yeah. Who plays the bugle. Mm, exactly, and uh, Brahu, uh, I know Moses was the youngest, but Brahu was tighter with me because um, I was the cleanest guy in the band, you know, never smoked, never drank, mm -hmm. you know. Well, whenever we're not staying in hotels, if we were, stay, we, we were staying in chalets, and also, yeah, you know, and he gave me some health, uh, you know, eating tips as well, you know, it, it, it was great. And was that's great. why, you know, I was asking you, this fountain of youth, Ifuma, <laughs> <laughs> so it's through him, you know, okay, from uh, okay, the likes yeah. of uh, Brahu as well. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I yeah, mean, yeah. Mm. I mean, very, very few of us, I think, would be looking like you do, uh, Bramek. At uh, the age of 65, I mean, yeah, yeah, we need yeah. to really yeah. shape up our lives. <laughs> On that note, <laughs> I have a grandson, uh, Kamala Kungukaya. 
Yeah, um, I recently wrote a song for him, Lala Boy for Kayoyo, and I love him to beat. Ah, uh, Ukaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Please, please, please. Yeah, yeah. For Kaya. Mm. And you know what? You know, I don't know what came to 65, or oh, I was talking to my wife. In 65, they wish that next June, 64 this 64. year. Yeah, yeah, and they so wish that next June. Next like June, yeah, 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 yeah. And we were planning, some people want to do a big thing for me, you know. That's why it, it's, it's been ringing, you know. A, a big thing is going to happen next year. Wow. And this is what I got. closer to the time. And course. Yeah. Lullaby for Kayoyo. Yeah. Oh, Tim Tanda. Yes. <laughs> so. <clears throat> <laughs> and how does it feel about Mkul? <laughs> uh, I got scared, yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm not saying you. Ah, ah. Do you want to come cool? Yeah, but it's fun. It's fun. Uh, you know, when it comes around, yeah, yeah. Kulu, kulu, kulu. Yeah, he's three years old now. Yeah, it, it feels great. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. With yeah. The young one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Bramek, I mean, <coughs> besides just your solo career, you have many sub projects that you do it seems you are too busy and sometimes one wonders ba hey, how does he do it bakoni ibraska you yeah. know strings uh, attached yes yeah, strings yeah, attached yeah, mm, um, yeah, yeah. there are many sub uh, projects mm. um mm. is it always the case where you're constantly thinking and you've got ideas in your head and you want to implement them Yes, Music. that's exactly how it is in Klobam. Uh, you know, I don't only dream songs, I dream concepts. Yeah, when there's P, well, I believe in there's P, well, uh, you know. There's, there's one that's been in Genela, you know, Sons of Being. Die P1, J, X, N, Go, 3, but got to Sons of Being, you uh, know. So I'm collecting songs for you, 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 you know. Yeah, so. Um, I feel you know, sometimes sorry for my wife because uh, these ideas come in in, in in the wee hours of the morning, you know, and then go to my study. So you have to get out of bed, Mr. Gass. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly, exactly. Yes. You study some esibanda, you, <laughs> and touch down whatever idea I, I have, and back in Timbandi is a foot, yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And then we'll, you know, work on the idea ahead, you know, when I have time, you, you, mm. you know. It's India Kula, you know. Hence, uh, I really wanted to come to Josie and do this, you know. Thanks God, uh, Cape Town has grown, you know. There's a lot of original music, you know. Correct. Yes, yeah, yeah. But it's too late in the Zalapanguk. Zalapanguk. Yeah, yeah. No. And I guess Braskap, mm -hmm. as in a project, was an attempt somehow to connect back 
to Cape Town. Yep, and yeah. And what you were exposed to at the time. Ex yeah. Mm. Because, you know, some of the songs, uh, you know, you you hear you, you hear the songs. What's the genre that uh, is played with uh, the carnivals? Guma, yeah, the the guma. guma music, my bro. Yeah, Jamaica. you hear the guma. <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> hear it. Going. You, mm. and, and you call it Braska. Yeah. Mm, mm. And hence I say it was an, an, an attempt to reconnect. To, yeah. to Cape Town, Chagas. Full on, full uh, on, Shabam. Yeah, yeah. Mm. And um, when they heard that, 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 that name, they just knew Makoya is coming back home. He's coming back home. Yeah, yeah. Home. It doesn't, he, it, <laughs> if he's not physically, but musically, <laughs> yes. he's here with us, he's you know, here. because even the titles, uh, you know, Puta Ribbons, you know, Puta Ribbons is, is one, of, one of my heroes in Cape Town, in the late Robbie Jensen, you know. Jensen, yeah, yes. yeah. Uh, let, me, let me show you. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. Is that Kuma? Yeah, it's Kuma. Oh, it's Kuma? Yeah. Okay. What case you didn't go to? Cape Town, what it is, isn't it? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, I was privileged to be part of the Kuhn Carnival Band, you know, whenever, during um, December, December time, December. you know, oh, when they go December. up there, up there, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they go up there, Kuhn Carnival, the competitions, competitions, you know, yes. and all the you know, yes, yes. Uh, they'll recruit horn players from across, you know, you know Cape Town, Cape Town, you know, being it in Bondiaville, Kukuletu, Kualanga, and other mm. places. They they want as many as you know horn players you know. Mm. I used to do that you know growing up. Wow! So mm. you were actually exposed uh, to that, and uh, yeah. mm. you know somehow that's why uh, brass cap uh, resonates so much. And there are what three offerings of brass cap now? Yes, 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 three yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. Three, and, three. And you did something quite phenomenal because I think by the second uh, offering, and uh, and it goes back to your encounter, say with Moses Mulelegwa that evening, in nurturing uh, young talent, you brought on uh, Luanda Matope, mm. who was on House of Sankofa, mm. and explaining that he couldn't believe it when you said to him, John, mm. Mm. you're going to produce. Mm. Yeah, Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Tell me about yeah. Luanda uh, uh, and your relationship, because he speaks so highly of you, Mkuluwa, yeah, and yeah. Uh, he's forever grateful. Mm. for what you've done for him. Sure, 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 sure. Yeah, he's a great musician. I, I noticed that he kind of found um, what I was about, you know, musically and otherwise, you know. And uh, the beautiful thing about, you know, you know if you, being open-minded, I'm learning from him too. Mm. So here's this guy that I'm, I'm this young man that, that I met in the early 2000s, you, you know, when we, we went, went to uh, KZN to do workshops, you, you know, that were organized by uh, Danish uh, conservatory, you know. Yes, and, they uh, were competing now. Hey? Yes, so yes, far. exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. yeah. Paul, they were all there, and a few cats from Deben too. So, um, that's why I, I had him and saw that there's something here, you know. And of course, uh, that's when I had one of his compositions, Ikamagoli Vumele, and um, I said, I like the song, you know. And then when we got back, I said, I want it to be on, on my forthcoming album, and you're producing it, you know. <gasps> Maluma, you know. <laughs> Yeah. I believe it. yeah, yeah, it, 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 it was great, man. You know, we felt one, one another stuff, you know, because I have this thing that I call raw, materi raw materialism. Raw materialism? Yes. Okay. My things, I don't like polished things. You like You're them raw? Raw, you know. Because uh, 
It's like when you hear, you know, the old bands, uh, as great as they are, you, you know, uh, Weather Report, they, the Religious Crusaders, they borrowed a lot from Africa and then polish it and sell it, and sell it back to us, you to know. The West. Yeah, well, yeah. They sell it back to us, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, um, I like my things, it's not because too, too overproduced, too, you know, uh, polished, yeah, bon, yeah, bon, yeah, bon. yeah, yeah. He, he understood what I meant about that musically. And of you course, know. Mm -hmm. yeah, bon, yeah, bon, yeah. Mm, it's, yeah. It's, it, it, it's raw. It's raw, it's yeah. Oh, mm. Exactly, yeah. Mm. Mm. Yes. Mm. 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 Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so the young man went ahead and uh, went ahead and produced it. You know, we are now busy on volume four. You know, we are about to do a post-production volume four. We should be in the studio later this year. You know, it's here for it. What do you wish for him as he progresses, Oluyan, within his musicality? To just uh, follow what's, what comes out of him. You know. Because a lot of times I tell these kids, you guys, I don't want you know to names, you know. Mm. I see good in them, but these kids suppress what comes naturally, man. And the Mafuni Polish and Robert Gillespie and all that. that I love Robert Gillespie on, on, on those kids, but it's them, man. You know, they want to sound in like those kids, you, you know, you know. What comes of naturally, nature it. And then another thing I, 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 I like to, um, when I do conduct workshops, collaborative work, you know, teamwork. I like to encourage teamwork, you know. Me, I don't consider myself a good songwriter, you know. Yes. When I get stuck with an idea, I'm not scared to go to Paul. Paul I've got no idea, no, no more idea for this to, song to develop, you know. Yes. Please, and there's any bridge, out. yeah, help, you know. Collaborate, yeah. Let's work together, you know. So for, for Luyanda to stay himself, stay grounded, you know. And, um, I, I, and, and I know he won't change, you know. Money won't change him, you know. And Luyanda, I mean, he was in North Africa, East Africa the, the other time. He went to Nigeria as well, West Africa, he, you know. Yes. He's an explorer, he's an exp explorer, you know. As much as I, I have uh, too many trips in the States, you know, but I'm from Africa, you know. Correct. It will be great, you know, if I get invited to um, in neighboring countries, you know. That's why I was happy uh, two years ago I was in Zimbabwe, yeah. although the tri trip didn't go well due to um, you know whatever problems Challenges, they had. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. No, hey, Mshagazi, I, I think you know while you're still here, you know you you, you need to embrace <coughs> these young cats because it's through your teachings, just mm. like you had yeah, through yeah, the yeah. little teachings and lessons, mm. Mm. No Tattoo Winston um, and Kungungos. Mm. That will help them uh, prosper yeah. and, and carve their own direction in a most natural and indigenous way that says, Abezala Lomgulo, Lomgulo, go wait. Exactly. There's nothing better about. than mm. that, isn't it? Mm, nothing better than that. You know? And man, if um, the Lincoln Center, Winton Masalis, Howard University, UCLA, what's the other one? Two more institutions in America mm. call on me to help their students, you know. Mm. Why can't we do the same, you know? Yeah. Only one institution up up SA that respects me is UNISA. Yes. The rest they're up to you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. And yet some of the professors steal our things and then implement them. In, 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 yeah. Into in, their curriculum. Yeah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, you know, I'm not scared to say that you, you, you know. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Are you always open to teach and Yeah, I teach, you yes. You know, at that level. Exactly, exactly. You know. I might not have the certificate, you know, because musically I was never professionally trained, you know, yeah. none of us got a formal, but I have a lot to give, you know. That's even how the jazz started in America, you, you, you know, those cats, you, you, you know, you know, got it from the streets, you know, mm. 
and then Charlie Parker taking from you know classical pieces and all of that you know. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Like I'm not uh, uh, promoting non-studying. You know, it was uh, due to the fact that we didn't have music institutions, institutions, institutions when I was growing up. Mm. You know, we're missing now. You know. We could be a brass band right now, but to learn nothing, I learned along the way. Along the way? Along the way, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, we see the likes of Mandala Gunene being uh, bestowed with doctorates. Sure, and sure. Of such nature. And it goes to what you are saying. A lot of these institutions mm. fail to bring someone in mm. to say, okay, uh, teach. Uh, here, yeah. he's got a very distinct guitar style. Yes, yes. Mm, mm, mm. Um, he could have been uh, at a point where he's uh, passing down that mm, knowledge for sure. of his guitar and and how he plays it. Yeah. But you fast forward, and then at the end of the day, about that uh, you know uh, doctorate that's been bestowed, mm. but there hasn't been sort of uh, groundwork. Why do these institutions do that? Because there's obviously room yeah. for you guys to get there and yeah. pass down, you know, to, yeah. to students. Mm. I, uh, I have no idea, Mtloba. Yeah, all I can say, they are short-sighted. Mm. And also they undermine us, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when they realize, good, hey, they made a blunder, and then they give us, you know, this, you know, doctorate, you know. Mm. I'm, I'm not a fan of those, you know. Mm. I, I was glad, uh, I'm always glad when, you know, like Babu Malombo, you know, got one, you got know, one yeah, one. Yeah, yes. yeah, 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 it kind of makes me, you know, but, yeah. You've got I a lot more to give, you feel. Exactly, 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 yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, mm, yeah, yeah. Going back to the American, you know, and, and other countries, you know, uh, Norway have, you, the Scandinavians have a lot of respect, you know, of, of people like me, Paul, you know, mm. you, you, you know, Bokani Daya, you know. Yes. I, I, I love that, I love that, you know. And the, even the, not Lincoln Center, Kennedy Center, Kennedy in Center. 20, 20, 2018, they gave me uh, an, an international award among Uma Musbongi, Lena John Kani, you know. Yeah, it, it was like, wow. You know, among these giants, you know, I mean, mm. yeah, they see what our institutions don't don't see, you know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. I was just asking you about uh, in Mutela, which was just yeah. another sort of side yeah. project that mm. you've been doing with the Pra yeah. Next for Chad, and I was saying, hey, man, figures, when is the next one? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We really needed to sit down after COVID. We haven't, you know, kind of. Connected. Yes, yeah, yeah. You know, we've done other things, you know, but mm. in Mutela, yeah, we need to get, you know. Those were just uh, sessions, sort of, as in events that you you two. We're collaborating in I think. Exactly. And the interesting about it, we, we were doing, you know, these sessions at our homes, you know, our houses, you know. In the gardens. In the gardens, yes. you, you, you know, yeah, yes. people miss that, you know. Mm. Yeah, 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 you know. Yeah, Beautiful yeah. Uh, indeed. Yeah. And of late, Mflegas, um, what are you working on? Because <laughs> as we mentioned, you are always thinking up of ideas. There must be something. You talked about uh, the fourth installation possibly yeah, yeah, brass cup. Yes, yes, um, yes, yes. What else is there? You were talking about an orchestra as well. <laughs> yes, 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 yeah, now, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah, um, I, I've partnered with the uh, Community Philharmonic Orchestra, which has, uh, uh, you know, um, branches in, in Cape Town and, and here in Gauteng. Yes. Yeah, they approached me in 2021, you know, and they also told me that they arranged two of my songs would well, I like to um, do uh, stuff with them at times? I said yes, you know. And then we, uh, I remember during streaming time, I did uh, two uh, concerts with them. Okay, during the, COVID. When yeah, we were during COVID. Doing yeah. virtual streaming. Exactly, yes. exactly. Yes. Yeah, yeah. I really loved that. And then the CEO in Cape Town, the main guy, Mr. Des Solomon, approached me early this year, you know, uh, saying that. Uh, Lassie McCoy, we're coming to uh, Johannesburg for during the Mandela month. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, while we're there, 
Yeah, do I, let's do a show with you. I said, hey, brothers, yes. oh, man, we need funding. 30 of you, then, no, 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 listen here. Yeah, we saw that, you know, hotel-wise, the accommodation and all that, your flights, we, you know, you just, you know, I was like, oh, but still, man, you know, I wish you had told me last year, I said, you can do it. Yeah. He told me, you can do you it. You can do it. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> here we are, you, you know. It's on. It's yeah, on yeah. Me. Thank you, uh, Brad uh, Des Solomons, for encouraging me, giving me, you know. It is happening, you know. I pushed, I, I hooked up with a guy that I work with at, when I have big shows, Manda Baloy. Yeah, yeah, you ran, you, you know, ran with it. Yes. So it's happening, yeah, this Friday, the 20, uh, 21st of uh, uh, July at uh, um, Emperor's Palace, yeah, Emperor's, yeah, yeah, yeah and a uh, 30-piece orchestra, my jazz band, and we'll be having uh, two guest artists, you know, Mondem Sutwana and uh, Zashia uh, Zakas. Yeah. Zashia Zakas, yeah. Mm. So they are two prolific uh, vocalists yes, in yes, their yes. own right. Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. And it's gonna be a very user-friendly repertoire, you know. Very few of my songs, and then popular songs, and also songs that have the Mandela theme, you know. Mm. I asked them to, uh, to arrange for the orchestra, Asimbon Nanga by jo the late Johnny Clegg. Yes. Yeah, yes. we're doing that. You know, yes. Monde uh, and Zashi are gonna sing it, you know, whilst they're doing their own, uh, own compositions too, yeah. Mm. Yeah, great. Oh, it uh, sounds uh, like it's going to be a, a beautiful, uh, you know, d display uh, between uh, the orchestra, the jazz band, and of course, um, the vocalist. Uh, we're with uh, Bramakoi Mkhubata, and we've gone through his life uh, times, as well as uh, music. But just to round it up, just life-wise, uh, mm. your philosophy, what has it been throughout the years? Um, and I guess your philosophy has kept you. <laughs> yeah. Still looking, you know, uh, you know shape-wise. Yeah. What yeah. Is, is your life philosophy? To just stay grounded and love life and love, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm glad um, that I have a beautiful family. Although at home I'm the quiet one, mm. but my beautiful wife laughs all the time because her children are funny, they, you, you know. I'm always in my study, you know. It's just to, uh, you, know, you know, enjoy life, you know. And now, uh, during the day and the week in the Bali Vugu Vuk, I'm a ragged guy, you know. It's like when I moved to the uh 22 years ago, they were like, you don't, why, why here? You, I tell you, I tell you, sentence a day. I'm a human being, you know, mm. because that the neighborhood I, I chose is a cross between. Um, we live around f uh, farming area, you know, between the township, suburb, you know, it's very, you know, mm. ragged, you know. Mm. I'm that kind of person in life, yes. you, you know, laid back, and uh, I can be serious, but at the same time, not taking life too seriously. Too seriously, right. yeah, 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 you know. Um, I love when kids approach me, when I see Ata, there's this new thing, hey, you know? Mm, and then, uh, yeah. Hey, mm, hey. You know, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, it's like when uh, we're texting one another, even my friends know, you know? If a guy make the call time, and says, no, 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 I, I, go, I keep quiet, I say, good morning. Good morning. And then they remember, oh, oh yeah, I didn't create first. I, I, I love the, 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 the old, the old uh, things in that uh, we, we grew up with, you the know. Greeting first, Molom Shagas. Yeah, and yeah, exactly. Feel, mm. and, feel. exactly and then yeah. let's And then boom, let's engage. boom, yeah. All the groups that I'm in, you, you know, they know, you know. If they forgot, oh, sorry, I didn't create, boom, boom, boom. Just, I'm a simple person, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, even if my hair is not nice when I go to someone's house, you know, as well. Do you show bunnies? Yeah, you, you know, I, I still have that, you know. Yeah, yeah, yes, 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 yeah, yeah. Mm. A person, you know. In back. Do you look, eh, eh, do you look, eh, 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 Yeah. And uh, I would imagine, <coughs> Bramek, that your albums are just all over these uh, music platforms <coughs> and people can uh, go out and 
pick and choose, I think, at this stage. <laughs> I don't know, because they are all your babies, but no, 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 no. Go and get this one. Go and get this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> People can pick and choose. They can pick and choose. And these days, uh, it's so nice. And it's just a matter of you know, clicking button, and you're listening. Hey, I like yes, that one. Like yeah, yeah, one. yeah. Mm -mm. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. And um, man, uh, the way uh, these ideas are coming out, I'm privileged that uh, you know during COVID there were two albums, sure. you know, a Quiet Please" and the strings attached, you know, first green. We were, we were like a whole league. Hello. Yeah, we were yeah, like a whole league. yeah, yeah, yeah. Two yeah. albums during COVID. Yes. Yes, yes, yeah, boom, and they were, they were releasing 2021, 20, uh, and you know, one last. I thought I, I'll hang on to, to, to the, the, the other one. Right. Yeah, I released uh, you know early last year, mm -hmm. and then this year, this year I recorded some stuff, uh, estates uh, um, whilst touring there. I was there in in in, uh, in February and, and and in June. Yes. Yeah, I recorded some stuff uh, with uh, my patriot, uh, Sia Charles. Is on the record, yeah. Mm -hmm. Trombone is player, Trombonist. and then the rest were um, American. That should come out this year as well. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. So yeah. there's just constantly just yes. music. Mm -hmm. <laughs> music, and then in, in in September I'll be touring in Switzerland with Paul Hanma. There's new music for that as well. You, you know, uh, it's, it's a collaboration between Paul, no Robert, pickup clarinet player, classical clarinet, pick, clarinet. Uh, pick, okay. uh, player. And myself, a trio. We're gonna have a, a string quartet, you know. So um, I, I wrote some music for it, and I, I, co I commissioned an arranger to arrange for our um, string players. I you see. Yes, I'm Kumbula now. That to Paul Hemnaman. It's been a while now. He yes. needs to get out. Uh, yes, <laughs> yes, 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 yeah. Oh. Because I think he's just a, a, a prolific artist Ooh. in his own right. He is. You know, he is. pianist uh, extraordinary. He's just magnificent. Yeah, yeah, Paul, yeah. Paul, yeah, is a special uh, person, especially in, in my life. Yeah, yeah. Noel Bibek has been uh, uh, doing stuff at uh, uh, Rhodes University. Okay. Uh, he's finishing uh, uh, in August, you know. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah enough time for us. So, Sebenz and then see Switzerland. Yeah, yeah Switzerland <coughs> thereafter. Mm -hmm. Mr. no, um, we say thank you for your contribution. Um, I mean, it's very rare. I guess that you know you, you get to sit and you tell your story, mm. Mm. Sure, sure, and sure. Um, I think these platforms give us um, the time sure, for sure, you. Sure. Uh, and causing a loan to me. You, sure, sure, sure. you know from the beginning, mm. Mm. so that those who know you, um, mm. they possibly don't know the deeper side, mm. and they can have a holistic understanding of who Udadu Mekoi Mkhubata is, Upumapi, Wenzeni, till this point. Mm -hmm. Because in most cases, viewers or audience mm -hmm. just see an artist on stage. True, true, true. Blowing mm -hmm. his horn. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, it's a standing ovation. Mm -hmm. And then he pelili show, Bele Makaya. Sure, sure. But we very rarely have these sort of connections mm -hmm. or introduce the audience to these connections where we can sit down with you mm -hmm. and, and, and you can freely mm -hmm. tell your story. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And do your accent, my bro? And do yeah. your accent. Yeah. And therefore, Mshagazi Mkulua, we say thank you so much. Your contribution um, doesn't uh, go unseen. We value it. And um, Ukamata will grant you many more years course, to course, still do yeah. what you do. Because and pass on the baton to another generation that is coming uh, so that at least they can elevate uh, this music. Okay. No, because <laughs> I'm It's rare to get these opportunities where you just sit. We coop him in Niniaco, you want Uted, no, thanks you, thanks to you and, and, you and then the team. Yes. Because it's cool, man. Mm. It is a uh, house of Sankofa right here, and uh, of course, uh, as I mentioned, we are so honored and privileged. Uh, to be honored with his uh, presence, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. McCoy Mkhubat. Uh, you're not going to send us home, possibly, in, in Kalingo. Why not? Yeah, yeah, no. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. From the great Winston Mankunku Ngozi.